Krishna and we are at the United Nations headquarters in New York representing the Vaishnavi ministry from ISKCON. Super, super thrilled to be here with wonderful ladies around me. For me, I find that the energy in the room, the energy in the building is magnificent because there's like-minded people who are coming together for that purpose to uplift women and girls globally. How about you, Tiffany? Well, I just want to share, my name is Tiffany Cooper, and I just want to share that I sat in with a woman from Kenya. She served four years in the parliament there, and she's no longer in the parliament. But she started a school on the land that her family members were massacred on. And that school has made such a difference in the area. It's brought people together by bringing the children together, which in turn brings the parents together. And I was so impressed by everything that she had to say. It was so inspiring to see that one woman can make such a difference in any movement. My name is Ineke Zomba. Um, I'm here with this wonderful group and I also represent FFLV, Food for Life for Daven. Um, I think this morning, overall it was, this is day three and this morning was exceptionally powerful where we had the opportunity to spend some time in a room with the Secretary General of the United Nations. And I think he gave us all the courage to raise our voice. Um, it was, it's disturbing to hear that gender equality reversed in the last few years. And um, he really enforced us, empowered us to, to raise our voices because it is not okay. And as he said wisely, it's 99% of all the wars has been started by men. So he felt that it was time that the women raises their voice to come together and look for um, solutions and better opportunities. What about you, Rafa? So I'm Rukmini Walker, and I'm from suburban Washington, D.C., and I'm representing the Vaishnavi Ministry as well as the Urban Davy Collective. And yeah, it was so inspiring to hear the Secretary General speak about how, actually he was saying it's a misinterpretation of religion to say that women have to be kept down and the continuing the patriarchy, keeping women's voices out of the conversation, out of the you know social, um, the global conversation, the public square, is really a misinterpretation of religion. And he was saying that religion can do so much to bring about that equality. And he was saying, go for it, fight for it, and take no prisoners. <laughs> it was so beautiful. <laughs> What do you have to say? So amazing. I loved one of the case studies we saw presented by the minister from Slovenia. It was so detailed framework which was laid out by the government when it comes to women care. It was women care in action. They talk about you know how they ensured the maternity leave, paternity leave is in place. The extra large family is given all of the allowances to be taken care of. Uh, for the the children three and more i think the go it's high time that governments stop just speaking and start acting my name is krishangi rave from south africa and it's a pleasure being with these wonderful group of ladies representing women having a voice having a platform to speak and with this kind of energy in the room we can make a difference Hare Krishna.